So first one I'll talk about the robot bird. Looking at my crotch. The robot bird that mimics flight so accurately it could be mistaken for the real thing. Now this is incredible. It was a, a TED video. I'm sure a lot of you guys must have seen it. I was absolutely ridiculous. It, it blew me away. Nathan wasn't that impressed, but I, I, I loved I it. Care for it. I'd rather a quadricopter. <laughs> Indeed, they're, they're pretty cool. Uh, but the, this yeah. bird actually flew around the conference, um, and it looks just like the real thing. It's only 450 grams, and it works by just flapping its wings. And it's actually so realistic that they actually took it outside after the conference, made it fly around, and it had seagulls dive bombing it because they thought it was a real <laughs> thing. Um, so this is just absolutely ridiculous. I I really love it because it's not you know it's not the traditional flying machine. It's it's actually yeah. mimicking exactly what an animal is. It's a uh, biomimicry. 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 Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's really cool. And the the actual tech that goes into it is really ridiculous. Like these guys have I don't know gone all out. What is it? Is it uh, like pivot points on a wing? Yes. And yes. Then... They actually also at the conference One they um one. they had another version that wasn't covered. Um, wasn't fully covered, so that all they needed was just the bare essentials, like just the wings flapping. Okay, cool. They've covered it to actually make it look more like a bird, which I thought was pretty and cool. It's just there's two motors, I'm guessing, or one motor. Or... I don't know. Probably just the one. If it's only 450 grams, it's probably one motor. Maybe it's got like a bit of a weight stabilizer. Hmm. Well, it, it's got change direction. Yeah. Well, it's got all the, it's got all the details here. Um, it's got torsional motors. I don't know what that means, but anyway, it's a yeah, very interesting to look at. I mean, especially in relation to drones and. All of, all of that. Yeah. I mean, if they can actually get the battery life and this staying up longer, it might oh. be a competitor. Dude, apparently Maybe. News Corp, and we've mentioned this before, News Corp has drones dedicated to finding news. Really? Like, they've already sent them out to news locations to grab news. Apparently it's illegal <laughs> at the moment. Like, it's uh, there's some law where they're doing it saying it's illegal. Yeah. But remember we talked about how cool it would be if you just had a drone going around <laughs> the city just automatically collecting news? Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Damn. That's pretty sorry, I just hijacked this story. No, no. <laughs> it's so true. Go to News Corp. Yeah, but can it swoop our children? Well, swoop? I don't know. I'm, I'm sure eventually, if they open source this, get people to actually develop their own things on top, it can sweep lots of kids. Kill like children, put them in pens. Exactly. I mean, I'm sure the, the public would love that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, the, the reason I'm excited about it is that it's a, it's a really great example of biomimicry. I mean, the fact that Seagulls actually dive-bombed it, when you look at the video, it's so majestic. 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 It's great. I mean, th this could be another another way to do drones. I mean, it's only what's, what's the what's the use case for it though? What would you actually use it for? Wouldn't a quadricopter be pissing off super better? <laughs> but like tr whatever you want to do, like true. Well, maybe I don't, I don't know. Depending on well how the how the um well I'm just like it for drones. I mean, yeah. if it can carry more batteries, I mean it's only cool. Like this is the grams. first time they've actually done a, a bird hmm. as a robot, isn't it? No, they have no. done a hummingbird. Um, I think it was DARPA or one of them. Um, there's this great <gasps> video. Um, that shows a, a little bird that's mimicry. It's, it's, a, it's a hummingbird and it flaps its wings like crazy and it looks just like it except this thing is only like about that big. It's ridiculous. Fair um, so a lot more scary, that one. Yeah. Compared to a big soaring eagle. Hell, even think about this as like a kid's toy. I mean, toys going around of, you know, <laughs> for a Christmas present you get a robot bird that you start flying around the beach. And, yeah. Uh, I'm very excited about that. Oh, with like a little remote control? Yeah, why not? Flies around, that'd be cool. But, um, yeah. So that, that's my thing. A nice, easy story to get into because we've got hectic ones coming up.